All right, I'm Brandon from Audi Guy. Uh, last video I showed you on our YouTube, I talked about how to rig up your, your, your tackle for nymphing with two flies. So today we're on the Snake River uh, behind me up, up on the North Fork of the Henry's Fork. And uh, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna fish this. Now, in the video I talked about seven feet of leader until you hit that first fly, but I really like to fish uh, check style. Real quickly though, I have a six foot six fly rod, okay? Six foot six fly rod. It's a three weight fly rod, it's LL Bean. Um, it's an awesome rod, it cost me $59. I actually bought it for my son um, because he likes to fish with it. And then I have a line from uh, Cortland, it's a laser line. They don't make it anymore, but you can find some from Rio. They're Euro line style. Um, anyway, I want to show you here real quick, you can kind of see. In the video I talked about doing seven feet before you hit your first fly. Uh, not really on this way that I'm fishing with a check style. You can see I probably got four feet from my fly line until my first knot, which is my first fly. You can see I got a big old bead head, uh, a bead head stone fly, and then about 12, 14 inches from there, I've got another fly here. It's a secret fam family recipe. And then here I got my, my, uh, my split shot. So you can see fly line, leader, first knot, big attractor pattern, bead head. If I catch one on that, gravy, I'm excited. Drop from there, I got a second fly. So when it floats down, it's gonna float and it's gonna hit that bottom and drop. And if you watch the tip of my fly rod, you're gonna see, and you can feel it. When you fish this way, check style, you'll actually be able to feel the strike come down the spine of your fly rod into your, into your thumb, into your wrist. And you'll know the difference between rock and fish. A rock will just be a tap, tap. A fish is gonna go, do, 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 do. you'll feel the difference. And that's when you set the hook. A lot better than suspension fishing because sometimes you get the loops, sometimes you have that, that uh, dissonance or that, that gap between when you see the strike and when you do it. This way you feel it and you strike. So we're gonna give it a go. So before I continue with the video, I just took a freeze frame and diagrammed up what I got here. Uh, you can see I, I've, I, I have that to the right, I have my attractor pattern, uh, rubber legs, you know, big buggy patterns, usually something that's gonna catch the trout's attention. Uh, uh, I have found, I have found that sometimes just by switching my attractor pattern, I will catch fish on my target pattern just for the, the fact that I'm, I'm getting their attention and they're seeing that target fly. Anyway, I'll follow down here. I got my attractor pattern, triple surgeon knot. I'm dropping down seven inches. I'm tying that bead head stone fly on there. And then I'm going to have about 10 to 12 more inches of tippet. I'm gonna tie on another triple surgeon knot and then drop six to seven inches my target fly. In this case, I have a bead head pattern. It's my family recipe. Um, I'm not gonna share what that is. It's a deadly pattern on the, on the uh, Snake River. If you wanna email me at audiguide at gmail.com, I'll tell you that. Uh, and then you can see from that target pattern, about 10, 12 inches below, I tie an overhand knot and I put on split shot. One, two, three. Always start with less weight then add more till you start to fill that bottom. You start to fill it uh, tug, 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 tug on the bottom. Okay, so what I like to do with this check style rib, uh, and you can even do this with a regular fly line and with uh, suspension, but what I like to do is I talked about the casting. We're not gonna do the normal, the normal fly fishing casting over your shoulder, over your head. What I like to do is I like to throw out a little bit of line. You see I've loaded up my, I've loaded up my rod. I like to feed out a lot of lines here. This is check style. Now, you can adapt this to do it with suspension and strike indicator fixing. But for this specifically, I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to show you what I do. And I just, I pick it up here, and I throw my, I throw my fly line out there. And I've got enough weight to where I should be able to feel the bottom here. Nope, nothing there. Not, it's really high right now. I have to throw it, I'll have to it a little bit more to allow my indicator, allow my fly to sink a little bit more. So we actually moved downstream a little bit more uh, just so we could have more success. I wasn't, it was really high and swift up above, so I, I dropped down below and, and uh, tried to see if I couldn't pull up some of, I've had a pretty good success in these areas on the Snake River uh, down by Ashton. You'll see that I'm stripping in. I'm actually holding the line with my fingers each time I strip. Uh, and then you can, so I, I, I kind of manage my, my line that way.
you can see it. Kind of hard to see in this video. I'll have to probably post another video on these. But you can see how the, I'll have to show a video, but you can see how, how that line or that tip of my rod, you can tell the difference between bottom, because bottom is just a tug, 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 tug versus a tug, 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 tug. And that's how you know the difference. I talked about it right there. So it's kind of a cool style. Um, it's a very effective way to fish, it's nymphing with two flies. I'm kind of meshing two, uh, two strategies in here, but uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I'm gonna show you what happens next in this next video, which is happens quite a bit with me when I'm fishing with two flies. Uh, really cool stuff. All right, so in this next clip, what I'm gonna show you is I got that rock in front of me, it's submerged. There's pocket water in front and pocket water behind it. And a lot of times the fish will sit in that pocket water. In this particular case, I catch one on the right seam in the, that bubbly water on the right seam. Uh, I miss him. Uh, I didn't get a good, I didn't get a good set of the hook. Anyway, as I'm stripping in, you can see in that pocket water, probably five feet to the bottom and below and to the left, you'll see this brown trout strike it. And I don't go right back to where he struck it either. I went up above, same drift, and then I kind of cut my, my drift short and floated that fly right in front of him so I could get it. Uh, this is why sometimes you've always got to be aware because trout, you never know when they're going to hit your flies. Oftentimes I have them hit when I'm stripping in. So uh, this was a, an enjoyable uh, brown trout to catch. So you can see right here, uh, just as a nice strike. I just, I couldn't set the hook on this one. I felt kind of bad because uh, this fish actually felt kind of decent. Oh. Um, you can hear my wife, she was, was disappointed. That a fish? And then you watch as I'm stripping in and watch right, right there. No. He hit it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to throw out some line there. I'm going to cast upstream. Notice I'm not going right back at him. I'm going to cast a little bit no, upstream. No, I was looking at you. Float it right in front I of didn't. his face. Are you kidding me? Kind of are nice. you kidding? Yeah, <laughs> these are fun times. Uh, but oftentimes, I'll, I'll tell you one thing about Czech style, or are any you European uh, style of fly fishing. Yeah, I, I just, I have more control over the line. You gotta have a, a tighter line, uh, but at the same time, I love the, the, um, the versatility that I get when it comes to your and fly fishing and then the two fly system you know on this one i caught on the top fly on the one before i caught on a two fly um, try and get him where is he oh there he is Let me see him. Oh. Nice little brown. Not too bad. Right, 10, 10 inches. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video on, on fly fishing, nymphing with two flies. Uh, it's always a good time to get out on the river. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I co-host a, a weekly podcast, Audi Guide Fishing and Hunting Podcast with Nick and Matt Toyne. We have a great time. They talk a lot about hunting. I focus more on the fishing, but we just talk about everything outdoors. It's kind of nice. We, we do tips, strateg strategies, tricks. Uh, anyway, we do a weekly podcast. We also have a website called AudiGuide.com. If you are interested in learning anything or have questions or anything about this video or fly fishing, shoot me an email at AudiGuide at gmail.com. That's O-U-T-I-E-G-U-I-D-E.com. Uh, thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned something and hopefully I can do some more if you want more. If you're, you have any questions, like I said, shoot me an email. Uh, I, I'd love to do other videos and, and, and build a community of, of anglers and, and hunters and just outdoor enthusiasts.